Hey everyone, welcome back to 5 Day Crypto. My name is Chase. Today we're going to talk about the stock market. 5 Day Crypto, talking about the stock -o market. I'm going to give my opinion on what I see coming for the future in stocks and what I think just based on the charts. That's what we do on this channel. Focus on big picture time frames, just what I see in charts, not necessarily, uh, you know, the moon. Uh, we're going to make well, become millionaires the next four minutes, uh, although that would be nice, right? Uh, I do this full time. I've been in the markets, in the stock markets for two decades. Uh, I, I've been in crypto for about five, almost five years now. So if you like the video today, give us thumbs up, follow us, watch some of my other videos, ask me any questions you have. I try to respond to all my comments below. Uh, let's go ahead and get started because I have nothing to sell. I have nothing to shill. There's no commercials, no nothing paid. Everything is from me to you. That's it. So the S&P 500 on the weekly time frame, because like I just said, four minutes ago, one minute ago, <laughs> back in the charts is it. Big picture time frame. We're going back to 2018 in January 2018. Look at the price, right? I just drew an arrow. It's not really a trend line or anything. It's just to give you a direction. Hopefully you know how to read arrows by now. If not, go back and study your shapes and colors. And then come back and watch this and you'll be better versed. So the price has been doing very well, right? We had, you know, our dips back in here. We had our huge bat virus. <laughs> it almost looks like a bat, right? Not really. <laughs> so what, what am I saying? Why am I showing you this, right? We're going up and up and up basically since basically our last big drop of the crash of 2008 you i'm sure you're all familiar with look at back here look at look at, <laughs> like we're all six again look at uh the direction back in here right up and up and up for several years again why am i showing you that specifically well look what came next right so let's go ahead and zoom out and this is the rsi on a weekly chart now, this is not on a five minute chart or four hour chart or even a daily chart. A weekly chart has much more weight to it than a lesser time frame chart. So look at our, this is called divergence, by the way, if you don't know what this is. The price is doing one thing up the RSI or the relative strength index showing you the power of said asset. In this case, the S&P 500. We're making high, lower high, lower high. That's called divergence. Usually, more often than not, nothing is certain in crypto or the stock market. You just have odds indicators to go off of. And most of the time, the odds are with massive divergence on a weekly time scale over more than a year. When your RSI is doing one thing and your price is doing the opposite, Usually what comes next is the price starts following what the RSI is doing. So look at what we have now on a even bigger time frame, right? 2018, over three years. High, lower high, lower high. Look where we are now. Again, let's look back at these two arrows here, right? We can spread this out a little bit. Prices are skyrocketing up on a pretty big incline, right? And the very opposite is going through with the RSI. So the strength could be running out. Now, does this mean the stock market's going to crash tomorrow? No. Although anything's possible. But what, what do I guess? What would I predict for the stock market? Is something bad coming really soon? No. Is something bad coming in maybe the next 12 to 18 months? Yes. I would... I, I'm making my bold prediction that the stock market will have maybe not quite, uh, you know, bat territory virus, uh, but maybe we get something, you know, more along the lines of this. Uh, let's, let's see what this drop was. Let's zoom in for him. So this is only 20% drop, right? 20% drop in the stock market is pretty big. That's actually considered, you know, close to a bear market, 20% drop. Uh, in the stock market be pretty catastrophic. Let's see where that would take us. If if it happened today, which I don't like I said, I don't think so. It would take us almost back to our previous local high. Well, when you're any anybody that's well versed in charts knows that 
anytime we have a substantial drop, you're usually going to go back and retest previous local highs. So if this happens, like I said, I don't think it's going to happen in the next few days or even few weeks, but we could even go up or, you know, even just sell. We don't have to go, you know, keep on this train track. We could hop trains and maybe do something a little bit more subtle. Just maybe, maybe go up just a little bit like this. We can turn it back green. I know it's bothering you. We can go to the green. All right, green up red down uh so maybe it does something like this uh kind of like bitcoin did uh previously where it kind of just tapers off a little bit before the before the uh you know correction so that is my bold prediction for the stock market sometime between now and let's say let, let's let's kick this out here maybe maybe another year even 300 that puts us next summer right i don't even know why you measure that because it's Everyone knows, except for me when I'm making videos, that, you know, roughly 365 days is uh, is a year. <laughs> so let's go back and look at 2008, uh, that crash, right? We got our peak here, and how long was it until we got to our bottom on that? Look at that. That was 500 days before we bottomed out, but look, really before a big drop, almost a year. Maybe maybe this helped you a little bit. Maybe you're not even watching. Maybe you're watching your cat lick himself. <laughs> I don't know. I have to throw a joke in every now and then just to keep the one of you that was going to unsubscribe instantly. <laughs> maybe maybe the joke will help you. Uh, that's that's it. If you have any questions on this, you want me to do this a little bit more in depth, look at a stock. I probably won't do it. <laughs> but uh, I'm more focused on crypto. I like crypto. Maybe we'll get into stocks sometime. Uh, in the bear market, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, Forex. Maybe some of you are familiar with that. I'm happy to do go over some of that with you guys, maybe a little bit here and there. Uh, I've been doing Forex for over a decade as well. Um, so, yeah, let me know any questions you have. I'm here full time. My name's Chase. I'm here for you. You're here just to try to get some information. Let's be honest. Uh, maybe you got something today. Let's Let's hope so. If not, hopefully I didn't annoy you too much. Maybe my shirt helped out. We're on vacation. We're always on vacation. We got to get the Tommy Bahama going. Uh, if you're into crypto, thinking about getting in crypto, and you're not yet, uh, check me out. I've got hundreds of videos. Big on Chainlink. Research that if you don't know what that is. I even got the damn neon sign. Who else has got a Chainlink neon sign? I, th I, th I know a little bit about Chainlink. I've been invested in Chainlink for years, so let me know your thoughts on whatever interests you. Except for if it's boring. Keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next video if you're not unsubscribed. <laughs>